of a colleague of mine, Hija Sispulla, a brilliant lawyer, Honorable Minister of Justice knows that very well, a brilliant young lawyer, denied justice for eight months. What are you doing for eight months if you had evidence that he was involved in anything at all? You could have charged him with that. What are you doing for eight months? All kinds of false allegations were made against him. When his house was searched and he was arrested, Honorable Minister, they took away two of his case briefs. Not even in a court of law can questions be asked with regard to communication between client and attorney, and you know that very well. There are only two instances of privilege, one husband, wife, and the other is attorney-client privilege. That's how sacrosanct communication between a lawyer and his client is. But they took even his client's files. Can't he have clients? Can't he, have, can't he handle cases for people who are later found to have committed other crimes? He's a lawyer to be blamed. All right, even if you, you did that, in those files, if you found anything, you could have brought that to light. You could have produced him before court. Nothing. Nothing to date. All kinds of spurious allegations are being made. Something about a school. That he was involved in some school. Now that school is still functioning. Nobody else has been arrested in respect of that school. That school is functioning. Everybody is happily running that school. But he is detained for involvement in that school. I mean, funny state of affairs. Funny ministry. He was said to have got assistance from Kata Charity. Now, Kata Charity is still running. He's still involved. State is beneficial, beneficiary as well. Now, so what is wrong with Kata Charity? If you can have it, you can still use it. You accuse him of being involved with Qatar charity. There is not an ayata of it. I have not, I have not spoken about Hijaz Ispullah until today. For good reason. If there was something against him and there were investigations, let the, let the investigators be free to find evidence against him. But after eight months, his wife just gave birth to a child. He hasn't been able to even see his wife. Access to lawyers have been denied. I know you will say it was given sketchily here and there, given with a police officer sitting there and writing down every word that is spoken. Is that, I mean, you are a, you are a, you are a trained lawyer, right? Is that, is that access? I'm, I'm picking one case, one emblematic case, to show how many more, how many thousands more are suffering like this. I'm picking that case because he's a lawyer. If you treat a lawyer like that, how, how do we expect you to treat anybody else any better? A lawyer who is well known, a lawyer who is regarded as a brilliant advocate in our courts, is being treated like this. News First, Sri Lanka's most trusted news brand keeps you informed wherever you are. All you need to do is follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel. News First, your life, our news.